down towards the windscreen wipers on, but the course almost complete, there's the finish line, then there's a long, long runoff beyond there. So Duke of Richmond and Gordon, he's earned his coffee, he's done a car launch, he's done a ride up the hill, other cars now starting to follow in, in the line, but up to the very end, past these enormous hay bales, go past the rally course, Duke of Richmond and Gordon has now, we've had the launch, we've had a dynamic launch, and the expression of the Duke's face says it all. I rather like that, I think. I was going to say, there was a definite nod of approval there, and here we are, Aston Martin Bulldogs, look at it, 40 <laughs> restored over the last two years. But 600 horsepower back then was off the clock. Now, quite a few road cars have it, but just at the moment. Now, bright yellow, very Ferrari, very oldie schooly. What do we think? Ferrari's Daytona SP3. Still engine more than 800 horsepower. Doesn't have a hybrid system. It's probably one of the last cars you can see without a hybrid system. Very yellow, certainly can't it. But what I love is the 1960s sliding details from the uh, the P3 that took on the Aston, the uh, Ford GT40, those side straight to back, almost magnifying it. But I think a lot of people like to go back to that body shape. It's almost like avoiding what we're doing to change the car. So we're all into the repair and damage. So it's something very important. Now the six cars really start to go quickly off the line. Still in Ferrari world, they bought five different models here. We heard David Green extolling their virtues, but uh, a great array of cars.